See, so it dug this pile of parts out, huh? Oh, look at that. Boy, it's been a long time since that thing hasn't been just outright collecting dust. That must be to the other chassis over there, right? Yeah, these were pretty unique. Had the gear-driven cam, and between the two chassis, about the only thing you had to change was motor mounts, which you're figuring out right here. But also, the water pump housing, the water pump housing was different from one to the next in a different intake manifold, but the rest of the motor was the same. You can take these 503s and stuff them in the 450s and vice versa. You know, one chassis to the next by making a change right there. I actually got to change the whole plate. And I'm pretty sure I didn't do that. So I'm pretty sure this is the right one. And I can't remember what I did. I think that looks like the right intake manifold. Still got oil in the darn thing. Yeah, I had fun with that bike. This is a case puller. I didn't get any of that on video. Cam puller. The rest of the parts for the 503. That's valve cover gaskets. When you set the valves, you can do that. Air filters, water pump, original, original manuals. Yep. See, Kyle's been putting this thing together. This is something from my past. This thing has got a hell of a story to tell. And. Here, put them in there. New radiators for the 503, brand new radiators. And dual stock parts. That's a cam roller. Another one. Sprocket. These are the cam roller uh, shafts. They had an oiling issue on some of them. I can't remember exactly what they are, but this stuff here is Vore Unobtainium. Unbelievable. So where's the big gas tank for this thing? Ah, there it is. There's the gas tank. Yep. I think that's it for me for the day. A lot of stuff has happened around here.